Um, we today just um, discussing RSSI, RSRP, RSRQ and signal to noise which is often SNR or SNR. Now the reason for this is that uh, for LTE we've got these two new sort of measures. Okay, These are LTE, I'm saying LTE it's 4G, 5G, um, it's essentially standards that use um, OFDM, orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. These are the old ones that we used to that uh, we often used before and people understand them quite well. Um, this stands for, okay, the difference between them, this measures the received signal uh, over a whole band and this looks at the signal relative to the noise. So this guy is in dBm which means it's a power measure, always negative because signals that you receive is signal relative to the milliwatt and the same with this guy, okay. This, these ones here are ratios, okay, just dB. In other words, it just tells you how much signal relative to noise, and this is also dB. Okay, why are they different? The fact is that this reference signal receive power, reference signal receive quality, okay, is because uh, uh, LTE or OFTM block has got certain resource blocks, and you also sometimes have more than one antenna. So you need to measure specifically the power in the essentially the base station reference signals, which is always there. The other signals come and go as people are using it. So that's why we need to measure the LTE specific reference signal. And they do relate to these two here. So this is the actual power. Now the LTE power that you've got available. That's the simplest way to look at it. Um, this is the signal quality of that reference signal in the LTE. So it gets better and worse. You could have enough power, but if you've got noise, this essentially, if this guy's bad, this guy's good, it means that you've got a lot of noise present in your system. So most important for LTE or OFDM or 5G is this RSRQ, receive signal, receive quality, because that indicates you the signal relative to the noise. A value that's really good is bigger than minus 10, we leave the units out there at the top, minus 10 to minus 15 is good. Another should still give you very good performance. 15 to minus 20, this is what you should get towards the end of a cell, and then less than minus 20 is really becoming questionable. All relates to your data rate. Okay, in terms of the actual received power, this is roughly bigger than minus 80. This is roughly from minus 80 to minus 90 and this is roughly from minus 90 to minus 100 and of course that is then less than minus 100 okay so those are the values you should look for this one certainly the more important one it takes noise into account and this one is similar to what you used to have for signal to noise ratio but it's very specific for the resource blocks the antennas because you've got more than one antenna connected and so forth and this relates to what used to be received signal strength indication i think that's what one needs to know about um, these measures focus on that guy and if they're very different if this one is good that one is bad you've got noise